up this Marla Wayans and uh, you chilling with me and her. Shelly Shelly. Single on a Saturday night. Mm, 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 mm. That sounds sad. It's not sad. All your characters, I was like, were you inspired by Eddie Murphy with Nutty Professor? Or was that like just you saying, you know what? Even though he did this, I want to put my spin on that type of a story. In history, every young artist is inspired by a great artist before them. Eddie just so happens to be that artist for me, as Richard was for him. Richard did Which Way Is Up, where he played multiple characters. Richard was inspired by Peter Sellers, who did it in Dr. Strange Love. Peter Sellers was inspired by Charlie Chaplin, who did it in The Dictator. So greats always <coughs> inspire others to want to go down the same path, but you got to do it different. Eddie did the ultimate when he put on the makeup, right? Richard did it, but you know, Richard had cotton on his face when he was, what are you doing, my ball? He had the, you know, the cotton on his face, boy, and the, the picture, you know, he was just like, he had the slick hair. But when uh, Eddie did it and he put on the costume, it was mind blowing. So when you have to do it, you take it up a notch. Not only did I do the costumes and the characters, because to me, the characters is not the costumes. And that's not the character. You build the soul of the character before you can put the costume on. So I I knew what Russell did, what how he was gonna sit, I knew how he was gonna look, and his, his position of his body and his hands. I felt his weight. Of, everything about him was just very subtle. I knew that before I put the costume on and create the costume that goes over him. We go, all right. So this is now him in physical form. I knew who Ethan was. I knew his his action. I knew his eyes. I knew his you know slick way of battle. I knew I knew what tooth I'm gonna put the gold one on. I I knew it. But what makes it different is in Eddie's movies is lock off and open shoulders, lock off, camera sit still. This movie, we did Avengers technology mm. on a sole plane budget. Our cameras are moving, our characters are interacting. I take keys out of my own hand. I hit myself in the head. I jump on myself. I'm doing things. This is a, and not two scenes. This is an entire movie where one guy is playing two, three, four, five, six, seven people at one time the entire movie. Not just, oh, here's this scene. No, once he meets Russell, every scene damn near he's in with three or four of his siblings interacting. That is different. This is an entire movie that is uh, a, 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 a basically a buddy comedy with seven people, and it's an entire <laughs> movie. So you take it up a notch. And I, I never, you, you never could take, right, in comedy, you can never take a, a person's, a comedian never takes another comedian's thing. We're very precious about it. But just because my character's big, my character and Eddie's character was completely different. Clump, Professor Clump, he, 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 he don't like this hand. He had no coat, you know, the kind of mannerism. And, you know, that's so different than Russell. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a completely different, because my life experience is different than Eddie's. The characters that I know that are inside the souls of the characters that we're doing are different, right? Even though R R Rasputia, she, it's a whole other thing that I did Dawn and Dawn, this Dawn is based on a lot of girls that I know because, it, because it's a lot of girls that we know bro. no but that's real talk I took two of my sisters and I threw them bitches together and that's who Dawn is okay And but these are real people I can't steal that nor would I ever comedians I don't want your joke I want to create my own joke because that makes my legacy if I take your thing, you know what's funny? You go online, after people see the movie, I rarely do you see any clump reference. The only time you see a clump reference is like, yo, you did the, you did this, but yo, y'all did that too. And it's like, thank you. I appreciate that. 
Do you plan on? I'm sorry. Oh, no, do you plan on incorporating any of the characters into your stand up? And do you think the characters will live on in another, like a sequel in something like a girlfriend moving on like that? You know what I'm saying? You know. Uh, I, I want to incorporate into my stand up. I like when my stand up, my stand up, this act that I have now. My first special, I talked about the world. The next one, I'm talking about myself. I'm talking about life. I'm talking about life experiences. I'm talking about things that's going on in my life that I would like to express from an emotional place that just so happens to be a very funny point of view on that. So I'm not I'm not gonna put that into my standup because I wanna let this live in its own universe. And hopefully, who knows, maybe they spin off like the Avengers and yo, know, we do the Russell movie and you, you yes. do the Dawn movie mm. and Dawn and Russell do a movie together and then they go find the father and you know, that'd be great. Mm. But if it's a great, a really good story, and I don't want to do it just for money, and I don't want to do it just because it's an opportunity to do, no. I want to do it because it it's naturally uh, came to me. Mm -hmm. and I was inspired to go, oh, this would be a funny story. And here's, it has, it has to mean something. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to do it. I'm, I'm not at that point in my life where I just want to go get checks. I, I, mm -hmm. I, I still want to make people laugh. I want to make people hurt. People ask, why you sweat so much? Because I'm working, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm fucking working. I'm mm -hmm. goddamn hard. <laughs> my adrenaline is up, and I, I'm working. Like, if you watch episodes of Marlon, I'm not like, give me a tissue. No, tissues happen after. Right now, I'm working. Ain't no vanity in comedy. I'm out here trying to get these laughs. I'm out here trying to make people feel. And I'm out here trying to leave a legacy of laughter behind. And when I'm gone, the only thing that I have left will be the things that I did on screen that hopefully give a smile to somebody who's having a bad day because that's my purpose that God put me here to do. I'm, that's my angelic duties. My job is to not change your life. I hope to change your mood so that I may